Let's talk about Spooky 2 Cold Laser. Is eye protection required during laser treatment? Well, yes, eye protection is required. Never shine the light off any laser directly into your eyes. We send one pair of special glasses to our users together with the lasers as a gift. What's the difference between the cold laser twin and the cold laser wrist? The only differences are the number of lasers, the power and the physical construction. The wrist laser has a strap and body designed for easy treatments in the wrist, leg or arm. And each laser is 5 milliwatt. Though the 5 milliwatt wrist unit has 5 lasers in total, so the overall power is 25 milliwatt, the twin cold laser has two more powerful lasers, they're 7 milliwatts each, and they're better suited for applications in smaller areas such as the nose, the ear, the navel, or meridian treatments. Now both laser units can treat blood and use the same wavelength of light. Another question, can I connect cold laser to the high power port of Spooky 2 Boost? Well, no you can't. You can risk damaging cold laser. Please connect the cold laser devices directly to the output one port of your generators. Another question. How long should I use cold laser each time? And how many times should I use it each day? Can I use cold laser wrist overnight? Well, the treatment times depend on what is being treated. In general, the ideal duration of cold laser would be around 30 minutes. With longer duration times, it won't cause damage to tissues, but it won't increase the effectiveness of the treatments. And one or two times a day will be okay. If you're running frequencies through cold laser, the program may take longer than 30 minutes, but that's fine. It can take one hour or even two hours. That's not a problem. Just wait until the program finishes. Another question, why can't Spooky 2 Cold Laser be used over any suspicious cancerous spots or the thyroid? Well, some studies have found that by stimulating the cells directly, cancer and thyroid cells became more energetic and active. The thyroid function is controlled by hormones and it must retain a balance. It is the king of glands that controls a multitude of other glands so it must always remain in equilibrium.